Oh, man. Iron Man issue three. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, man. I, I, I'm absolutely losing it. Dude, I'm absolutely losing it. But anyway, let's get started. So the comic opens up where we see Unicorn pretty much running and saying, Let me join, it's me, and blah, blah, blah. And we cut to where uh, Iron Man is at, and he's facing all these Iron Man villains in the past, classic books. And I'm talking about the early issues, and I'm like, Oh my god, i never seen these suckers since, like, feel like forever. And I love the fact where it goes to a school and talks to the teachers or something? Yeah, talks to the teachers in the school. And it, it's so awesome seeing that. That was a great moment. And I love the fact we saw the Melter. And I'm like, oh, the Melter? We haven't seen his ass in years. Oh man, this was awesome! And then he took him out, he picks him off, flies all the way up to the highest where he can go, drops his ass, and then flies down there and grabs him and slams to the ground. Oh man, that was so cool, so cool. And then we go to, to where we see Hellcat and Tony, and they're talking to one another, and I really love their chemistry, and it's just, I really, really enjoy their conversation with one another, and I really like that they're there for each other, they're trying to talk, and this is the only few times that I see Tony Stark actually with someone, I mean, besides Rhodey or Pepper, which, they're not here, I mean, we'll see if they ever uh, come into the Iron Man books, but... So Iron Man flies down to Corvat and pretty much he has all these fucking missiles. I I'm saying they're missiles. And after they're done having their conversation, Iron Man flies down and he gets blasted the shit out. And he sees Corvat with the controller, the unicorn, and fucking blizzard and i'm like oh dear god it's an iron man fan service holy shit and then after that whole thing corvad blasts the shit out of them and after that whole thing uh they want iron man to join them or something and i i really like the fact that tony says it's all my fault which really i'm like sure it is you pretty much could more likely gonna revive hellcat in the next issue so yeah that's my thoughts that's my general thoughts of this entire issue and oh my god 10 out of 10 this was awesome this was amazing this was greatness at its finest i absolutely adore this issue and i really cannot wait to see who is corvad who he really is is there going to be something revelations to his character all that crap is going to be really good really interesting because this is something that i've been dying for this is what we asked for and people like me have been waiting for this so long and I've been really so much begging writers like Bendis, Dan Slott just give us a bone give us classic Iron Man villains I mean come on it's not that hard and we finally get it and all I'm going to say is thank you Christopher thank you Christopher please do more classic Iron Man storytelling. And I'm really hoping you do the Mandarin. Because I really think this could be a build-up to this uh, this storyline for the Mandarin in the near future. But, I, I, I mean, right now I'm just so looking forward to, for the next issue because I want to see more classic Iron Man villains. I'm so happy to see the Melter, Blizzard, uh other Iron Man villains that only appeared in only one issue or two and it's just the fact is we got to see such fan service and it, in a right way that I, I just feel like it's not forced it's just right there and it's just clapping my hands saying thank god someone understands the Iron Man lore and Iron Man villains that he has and no one wants to use him and some writer just actually to say you know what screw it why don't we do it why don't we actually make something that's really genuinely worth the shit of the character of iron man we haven't seen blizzard we haven't seen pretty much any of these villains in the past 
uh, 80 years of Iron Man, so screw it, why not? And I really, really looking forward to seeing the next issue. Thank you, Christopher, for this amazing issue. I cannot wait for next month on December, issue four, and I'm dying for that issue right now, if you ask me. Greatness is coming, greatness is coming.